cannot explain it. If you're not, if you're not honest, no, nobody is gonna trust you, man. Yeah, and you can know I have a band that lasts 35 years, like this fucking cynics. It may be quarter past two in the morning, but this party is about to get a shot of adrenaline right to the heart. They've been playing for how many? More than 30 years, mm -hmm. and they are still creating songs. They're still writing songs. They're still playing so good. Because I am announcing to you now, the Garage Rock Legends on tour celebrating the 30th anniversary of their seminal album Rock and Roll. Y, y me dijo, hay un disco que se llama Rock and Roll, que es de, de una banda que se llama Los Phoenix, que es imprescindible. It's who you've been waiting for all night. I still think Rock and Roll is one of the greatest records of that era. C'est la base du garage, les Cynix. C'est un grand, grand groupe de garage. Mecha, mecha, psycho. Pittsburgh, no dance. When the Cynix arrived and played at the first track, it was a level, a level, oh. and a level of it. I've been playing in bands for over 40 years, and that was the most disciplined band I've ever been in. You know, just your, the, the normal American rock and roll story. You got a band out there, should have made it. What happened? Those of us of a certain age who are still doing this are doing it purely because we love the music, we love to play. If any of us had harbored any ideas of this next one's going to be the one that makes us famous, you know, we would have all given up years ago. Everybody thinks they're going to be a star on this and that, you know, but I have yet to see any stardom, you know, for 33 years from any kind of deals. That's the thing, mostly now you need a yeah, way of living and then you, you do music. I'm thankful that I've been able to participate as much as I have without having to rely on it for a living. It is too hard to set up tours because the principal problem is pay the runway tickets. It, it's, it's expensive. You, I would come home to a pile of debt. Leather, you had to pay for rent a band, pay to each musician, and you had to see everybody got profits. You have to be prepared to starve. That's what sort of did it for me. They went to do another tour and uh, I was like, oh my God, that's gonna put me in a hole like three grand. It's expensive. The music business is just like the world economy. There's no middle class. Controlled by people who seemingly have no love of music and they, you know, have historically always uh, taken advantage of the artists. They'll always have Spain. <laughs> When we were kids, it was like the band that you wanted to see. Pittsburgh is five years behind the time, if not more. I think there's this tradition of American artists that travel to Europe because we appreciate them all here and their own country. You know, Pittsburgh is Pittsburgh is a, is a is a tricky market. All good, good, good music in Spain is welcome. It was the old uh, Samuel, Samuel something. But he always said, you know, if when the world comes to an end, I would like to be in Pittsburgh because it won't happen there until 20 years later. <laughs> Yo creo que la mayoría de las bandas así, digamos, underground, son más populares en España que casi en ninguna parte del mundo ahora mismo. I don't know. We have good audience, I guess. Quizás no estuvieron en el lugar adecuado en el momento adecuado. I think it's same with Ramón. You can't be a prophet in your own town. The end of era of them, they are really major in South America, but in in US they play the, such a small crowd. Playing places 3,000 people and get paid. Come to the United States, you know, you get 30 if you're lucky, and you might not get paid. Yes, we all believe in <laughs> Pittsburgh rock and roll. Here, here's what I always say about Pittsburgh rock and roll. And Henry Kissinger, of all people, said this. He said, college politics are so brutal precisely because the stakes are so low. It drives me crazy. Like I said, five you know, higher institutions of learning in the area. You can't support a local music scene. So it's powerful stuff, and it's admirable that they've been doing it all these years. But uh, I can see that it just, it just wasn't the town for it. First place, 
The Sinish play is the Jasta. The Jasta is absolutely packed. Now it's more difficult. More difficult. It's less people. The people of that time have maybe 30 years. Now these people are 55. I mean, this rock and roll is for all people. Me imagino que aquí para mucha gente son leyenda y en su casa para mucha gente son como dinosaurios, ¿no? The story of the rock and roll is a young story. It's a music for young people. The old young people now is old. Hmm. Um, yeah. Why do you keep Going? I mean, this is music. This is real music.